Hello YouTube, I'm David with the David West Channel. Let's do some solar ignition with the Wall of Fresnel lens. Of course, we'll wear shades to protect our eyes. And I want to ignite a handful of leaves. Now it takes a couple of minutes to build a big enough ember up in that handful of leaves to blow it into flames. Um, I have not found anybody that told me they use this technique. I think it's because they're afraid they're gonna burn their hand but the leaves themselves will insulate your hand from getting burnt. If you can ever get over your fear of fire, I'm not telling you not to respect it, but get over your fear of fire, you'll have so many more fire making opportunities open up to you. Let's get this started. Um, probably gonna have to use double speed on a lot of this because I wanna do it three times. Kind of roll it into a tube. And this center part, I want to crush it down, sort of pack some fines right in the center here. Let's try that. Put these ridges towards the sun. And I won't blow on it for a couple of minutes unless there's a bunch of smoke coming into my face. But if you blow on it too soon, it's just gonna cool it off and you'll have to start all over. Let's go to double speed. I think the sun is a little brighter closer to you. 
when you go to blow on it, make sure you get as much wind, as much air in your lungs as you can possibly hold. Because that first breath that you give it is really the most important. All right, as big a breath as you can take. All right, one more time. I didn't set this on fire accidentally, did I? Let's try it one more time. Once again, we're gonna try to roll it into a tube best we can. It actually makes a difference. When you see that ember start to, to build and start to ignite more and more materials, you can see all the layers. It does the best when there's like 50 layers of leaves, 50 edges that it's eating down into. You want it good and tight in the center. It's got to be, it's got to be tight enough to where the heat can transfer deeper and deeper. You want a big ember and a depth of ember. You could almost care less about a pop-up flame, which is kind of what we had to deal with the last two. But even when I had the pop-up flame, I still tried to you know, to let it burn for a while to try to build as big an amber as possible. Let's try that. Well, the sun is getting, I'm getting, it's getting behind the trees. Let's see if we can get one more. It's brightest right there. Everything just went dim. I'm gonna to have to try to go for it now. Bridges towards the sun on this one also. This is gonna make it go to flames immediately. but I want it to have a depth of ember, so let's keep on burning it. Can you see it? Right, y'all do me a favor before you leave my channel please subscribe hit the notification bell and in that drop down list select all and do give the video a like i appreciate you joining me on this one we'll catch you on the next one